What is up guys, it's your grandpa the Grace here, and we're back again with another unboxing video. Uh, sorry about my little absence, but I haven't really had any ideas of making videos lately. I'm really sorry about that, but don't worry, my Series 3 is in the works, I have another special in the works as well, which you already see a little preview of it. So yeah, we're gonna be rolling down the track, as we did in 2022. Don't worry about it. It's just in the making, plus it also contributes to my laziness, but that's another topic to discuss. So, we got another package here. A decent one, like I have four items in it and whatnot. So it's a basic, basic bag. Let's open it up. And let's get its contents out. Oh, not spoiling anything. Not yet. After all. So, what should we begin with? Let's just say, well, let's begin with the most boring one. Let's say that, yeah. So, yeah, the first item here is this Ertl Terrence, which is in really, really good condition. It has a scuff mark on the face. Actually, oh no, that's a chip. Damn, the biggest chip is on the face. That's weird. But yeah, other than that, it's literally nearly brand spanking new condition. And even has these treads, which are absolutely marvelous. Like, they're literally intact. Like, let me sniff. Yeah, they didn't have... Well, yeah, they don't have that new, new scent to them. Like, the new rubber scent. But they're really, like, if... If I put them against light, you can clearly see how new look they have. Eh, well, <clears throat> they're a bit bent. They're not as flush as the take along ones, but whatever. Hmm, this Terrence is really good and really accurate. But I'm gonna stick with the take along one. I just got this because it's Ertl and I want to collect every single Ertl item basically. Okay, so we got a date with 2001. Oh, it's ha it has a it has an address on it from the U.S. Dyer's will. I hope I correct it correct. I hope I. Yeah. Dyer's will. I think. I hope I pronounced it correctly. Eova, USA. And it's also made in China. Uh, for 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 a quick glimpse, I thought it was made in Eova, but it's not. It's just the address of the Ertl headquarters. I, I of something. I don't know. Really good model, I must say. Um, I'm not sure if the coupling is supposed to be in this direction or it's just bent. Mm, let me check. No, it doesn't have any stretch marks. I think this is how it's supposed to be in the first place. Wow. All right. I must say it, it gets past. I mean, it, it is really nice, and it's really good in the background. Like if you put it here, you can clearly see like this. From the background, like if you don't look at that face, which is pretty, eh, I'm not saying it's not accurate, but it's really weird how s uh, seeing this Terrence without eyebrows. Even though he never had eyebrows, but it's just something off. Like, is this, I don't know what this is still to this day, is this too small? Maybe it was bigger in the TV series. But yeah, if you put it like this, it really, really looks like that. So it, it, I literally like it. Okay, let's get to the second one, which is this Ertl fire engine. And it's the same like the turns. Like, Ertl, for the most part, actually got the rolling stuff. Not, Jesus. The road vehicles are really, really spanking accurate to the TV series. Like, look at this thing. Oh, my literal God. It's, it's, it's like a TV prop. I'm not sure if the scale is right. I don't think so, but yeah. This... Come on, the looks of it. It really is nice. And basically, you couldn't even tell that this is a Thomas item since it only says on the top, on the bottom. So if you look at it from the side, you can actually put this into a random Ertl car or matchbox or whatever display you want. Because it doesn't say Sodor on it anywhere. Like Sodor Fire Department or shit. But yeah, you can clearly tell by the base that it's Thomas. And I like how it has rubber tires. Yeah, aside from Birdie and maybe Bulgy's stickers, but 
otherwise. Like, like yeah, this is really, really cool. I really like the adult road vehicles. All right, so uh, let's continue on with another one. Uh, yeah, you won't like this after two Earls, but yeah, here we got a 2010 Ferdinand. The reason why I paid money for this pile of crap is because I have an even bigger pile of crap in the storage as of now. Actually, really good condition aside from the top, which I can clearly um, touch up a little bit. So, other than that, oh well, yeah, it has a bit of chips here and here and there, but... Yeah, of course, in this place, which was expected, because that's a really sharp place, and this thing is like 13 years old, or, yeah, something. Yeah, because this was the only uh, Misty on the Rescue character that was released in 2010. Bash and Dash were released in 2011, I think. And maybe even Captain, I'm not sure about that. No, I think Captain was also released in 2010. Uh, I have no idea. Yeah, it's weird, though. And yeah, I like how he has really good of range here, even though the turns don't really need this much of a range for turning. But yeah, it's still nice. And I also like the wood detailing here. And it's actually metal, like I never knew this was molded, I thought this was like a coal piece, like it should be. But it's not, it's actually metal, because I can see for the chips. Let's see, it's a really matte brown. <sighs> how good quality merch has been there. Merch was, yeah, those times. Seeing this after the 2015 one is just a miracle like this. Even though it's a shit character, he still looks really nice, I must say. And all right, now for the final and main attraction of this video, guys. We have an Erdl Catherine. Oh my duck and lord. This is my sixth Erdl exclusive character. And by that, I mean the characters that weren't released in the other versions in diecast i know he has she has been released in wooden railway but i still i still am really happy to have this because it Ertle is really rare in my country so i'm pretty astonished to get like literally three on the same day and this is also in really good condition like yeah you can't really say anything about it or it'll be in good condition especially if it's rolling stock because you can't really see the the results or the consequences of wearing but here even the stickers like yeah they're a bit scratched but they, they're only visible when they're against light so overall they're really good condition like the stickers oh my jesus christ and you can tell that a, that an urdle was I, I think it's even safe to say that this was actually owned by a collector but yeah um, in the same time I'm not sure because I don't think then they would have sold this charming piece or maybe because they were normies and just normie collectors and thought nah it's cheap plastic who needs it because yeah that's what some collectors say if something is not made of metal or made of plastic or they're light it's, it's already bad quality but just look at this thing oh my Jesus Christ oh yeah and uh, back to what I wanted to say so, if you see an intact base for an Earl item, like it's clearly shiny without any or just minimal scratches, you can tell that it hasn't been played with much. Because even if you're only using it on track, well yeah, not Earl track, but who care, who has Earl tracks in 21st century? Yeah, if you push it on this newer tag along track, it already gets scratched up. Yeah, obviously this doesn't because this was like literally two centimeters pushed but if like a kid is playing with it regularly it's not gonna it's, it's gonna scratch up in any minute basically so oh and also the wheels are not the wheels are not worn either like if they were like they would be especially this really thin part where you know Erdl wanted to make really accurate railway wheels which I really appreciate but at the same time they're pretty problematic at some point so <clears throat> I'm still this guy well I like these more these are not HO models so they're eligible for that but I really liked Erdl for being this accurate and also like the bent axles and the worn wheels were also a big problem at Erdl because of this but here I can see, can't see anything that relates to this problem because it doesn't exist her face is just 
intact everything no not even a single scratch like really minimal scratches here and there even on the plastic which you can already not see so they wouldn't be a big deal I don't know who owned these items but they really cared for them so I'm, that's big respect and it's really weird to see Ferdinand pushing Catherine like it's literally three gauges on the same track now we got juke we got mountain gauge and we got standard gauge so like quite literally I mean come on man look look at these oh <sighs> one time I, I I just I just said to myself that I'm gonna give up on the dream of collecting every single Earl character because they're either expensive or not even available for me physically like jock and bear but after seeing these I I must say that I have to get back to it like because there's hope like there are these little chances you can take like opportunities you can take and they're worth it because yeah I paid like let's just count a little bit more than twenty dollars for these and if not counting this because this was the cheapest because yeah my friend sold me these and he said that this is gonna be the cheapest because of this is the shitty character the shittiest character of them all she re he, he really hates the logging logos so yeah back at it like seeing these now if I'm already this much ast astonished by just a piece of plastic which is not even detailed it's just a piece of square plastic what am I gonna what is my reaction going to be when I get a big diesel well I already have two big diesels in Ertl but the others like for example bear or d199 oh my god yeah, we're not talking about Diesel 10, because Diesel 10 is one of the shittiest Ertle, Ertle items in the world. It was just lazy marketing and shit. They put a pinchy on D199's body mold, basically. And that pinchy was also not detailed, it was just a big fucking block of sh plastic in the front of Diesel 10. Ugh. But I still want to get it, because it's nostalgia and shit. Yeah, but just seeing these items, I really have to get back into that dream. I missed out on a lot of these more commoner Ertles, for example, um, we still have a Toby up, and also a Juke, which I would have bought, because, yeah, I mean, obviously, but it was really expensive, it was like more, it was like 500 forints more than all these four things combined, so you can tell that I missed up on that op opportunity, I tried to do a bar game, but the seller refused it, so yeah, it's a bummer. But yeah, overall, I'm really satisfied with these, and it, it opened my eyes on how, how it's worth it, please, literally. I'm astonished, bros. So yeah, I'm really happy now. Got these beautiful items, so thank you again, Lord. And now, yeah, let's get back to work. This was Sir Grandpa of the Grace, signing out. Peace.